Hello, welcome to my channel. This on Salt Snug. Uh, this is a review. This ain't Arnold. Uh, on these yum semi name brand. They're cheap. They're like four dollars and some change, a little five with tax. But uh, these are polarized sunglasses. Today's not a really great day to do a review, but the sun does keep coming out every once in a while, but it's sprinkling right now. But even in the sprinkling, these glasses, it's cloudy. There's a big difference. I mean, I take them off and you know, like when you walk into a bright room or outside, how your eyes kind of burn, hurt a little bit. But when you take them off like that, it's bright. I mean, they're not really that dark, but the polarization on them is amazing. And I really don't wear sunglasses that much, but last weekend, or no, it was Memorial Day, Monday, I was on the lake and my eyes, I had to come home because I had a migraine and the sun was pounding down and pounding off the water. I couldn't even look at it. And I haven't had that much trouble. I mean, I in a long time, and I had to go home to get better. So... I'm gonna review these sunglasses throughout the day. Well, one thing I've noticed, because I don't wear sunglasses much ever, is because uh, they make the phone screen look like 3D when you're wearing them, but not actual 3D. It's like 3D screen when you're not wearing the 3D glasses, if you know what I mean. But look, like I said, the sun keeps coming out and it's brought, well, I'm at the bank and uh, this is without them. This is with them. See the glare on that trailblazer? It's not as bad. It's a lot different in person. But I'm going to have to find a body of water and hopefully some little fishies in it to show you what these are supposed to be like. But yeah, they're yum. The one thing I've noticed when uh, you're passing cars wearing them don't look like the other people have windshields or half the windows are gone. But as soon as you raise them up, you can see the glare. So it takes, I'd say, 85 to 90% of the glare off people's windows. So uh, this is the second day of me wearing them. I just was so busy yesterday. Before I got around to the rest of the video, well, it was dark. I didn't need them. So, Enough with the driving and the everyday usage and stuff. Let's use these now like they're supposed to be used. So let's go find some water. Well, this is how you get to Sipsy Fork, Highway 69. You turn on the Highway 95 and go then. This is my spot at the end. And here's all the gear I brought with me today. Smallest tackle box I got, two rods for me and Lily. Her backpack lunch and I'm gonna set up this canopy for some shade right here on this beach. Sorry and there ain't nobody down here, just a few people. So uh, the pros and cons, I guess, one pro is uh, they're cheap, and another pro is they work pretty good for what you pay, and this is just an opinion, it's different for everybody, but the shade of darkness through the eyes is, uh, my, in my opinion, my favorite. It's the best shade because it's not too dark and it's just enough. It could be just a little bit darker, but I ain't complaining. It's about where I like. 
because I, even on a cloudy day I can see great. You, you can almost wear them at night. I don't really like really, really dark sunglasses. The cons are also, it's cheap. It's like I said, it's a pro. That's another con, they're made cheap. I've had a few times where the lenses actually try to snap out of the frame, but they pop back in easy. Uh, another con is um, they're a little bit long from, I would say, this part to behind your ear, that part is a little bit long, but everybody's head's different, so that could just be something for me. I'm trying to get the sun out of the camera, but to me, I think it's a little too long. Uh, what I recommend these, of course, yes, I love them. Uh, if you need polarized glasses, you're going fishing, or just want to block the sun if it's a bright day, pick them up. Um, there's a lot of other different brands right next to them the same price. I couldn't compare them because I ain't got them and ain't worn them. But if you like the brand Young, and you're dead stuck on that brand and stuff, for the money you can't beat it, pick them up, grab them. Uh, even if you wear expensive glasses and you're going on a boat or a motorcycle or you forget and leave them at home or in the car, well, these are a great choice to stop by Walmart or a tackle shop or even a gas station in some places and pick them up for $5. Be gentle with them. They're going to last you. They're going to do what they're supposed to do. But I really hate the fact of I'm trying to show y'all on video the polarization or whatever you would call it that uh, blocks the glare and for some reason it goes through that filter and into your eyes you cannot see the glare on the sun and on windows and stuff but on the phone you can still see it a little bit so there's something with a camera lens on a camera or this phone that does not that can see through that filter on the sunglasses which I've watched a few videos on YouTube and uh, people are having the same problems it seems like they're showing before and afters and in-betweens and all that of polarized glasses three or four hundred dollar name brand glasses and um, the camera's still picking up through the glasses so this is something you have to see in person if you've ever messed around with polarized glasses, or some people haven't, and some people's never heard of them, I know a few that I've had to explain it to. But if you've never messed around with it, go get these. They're not cheap. I mean, they are cheap, but they're not too cheap. They're something worth buying. You get your money's worth. Five dollars, they're great. I mean, in my opinion, you get more than what you pay for. And they're young brands. And I like Yum, and you, you got the little logo on the sides and all that stuff. Another pro I would say is they look good. They're framed, full frame glasses. They're not frameless. I've always worn frameless. Well, these are the first full frame sunglasses I've worn since I was a kid, probably, that I like, that suit me. I mean, Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, not really. But, uh,. I like the way they look on me more than the frameless glasses. Even my girlfriend said so. So they're they're real nice. Um, go out and get you some, especially if you fish. One thing I love about them that the camera picks up that I can't show y'all guys, but your eyes don't see it. The filter actually works on your eyes in person. When it rains and the windshield's covered in a mist, it's not coming to flood, that mist is completely gone. You ain't got to turn your wipers on. I pulled my glasses off and I couldn't see where I was going, the glare and the mist. Pulled them back down and all the way down the road. It just amazed me. I was going back and forth looking at them. Uh, like I said, sometimes you pass cars and they don't look like they got windows in them or their windows roll down or the windshield's knocked out. Especially tinted windows. You can like almost see through people's tinted glass with these. 
So they do the job. They work well and they look nice and they fit perfect except for they're a little bit long. But like I said, everybody's built different. So that's just how they fit me. They might fit you different. They will fit you different. Go try them. I know this ain't like a big time review. It's just a $5 pair of you know, sunglasses. But these things just came out. They're in Walmart. They're right there next to uh, all the other polarized glasses. And I don't know about you, but I'm not spending over $20 on a pair of sunglasses. It's ridiculous. They're plastic. Uh, more than 80% of expensive sunglasses over $100, $200 even $500 sunglasses 90% of them still got plastic lenses I mean if you're going to get that high quality you would or you would think if you're going to pay that much you get that high quality at least get glass lenses or something or sometimes some kind of sci-fi space stuff but anyway thank you for watching this was my review please subscribe if you're not check out the channel and uh, look forward to my upcoming videos. Thanks a lot.